Two years ago, a tiny immigrant pest arrived in Georgia. The bean platyspid or kudzu bug feeds on kudzu and soybeans and can now be found in four southern states. Homeowners consider the bug a nuisance. Soybean producers shudder at the damage it causes. But still others are hoping it will prove to be a kudzu killer. A native of Southeast Asia, the bean platyspid is a pea-sized brownish insect with a wide back end. This legume eater's favorite menu includes both the famous weed kudzu and soybeans, an economically important crop grown in Georgia. The insect is known as a stink bug because of the offensive smelling chemical it releases when threatened. The pest was first spotted in Georgia in the fall of 2009 when insect samples were sent to the University of Georgia Homeowner Insect and Weed Diagnostic Laboratory in Griffin. The first samples came from UGA Cooperative Extension Agents in Barrow, Gwinnett, and Jackson Counties, northeast of Atlanta. As of October 2011, the bug can be found in 143 Georgia counties, all South Carolina counties, 45 North Carolina counties, and seven Alabama counties. Entomologists with the University of Georgia College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences are working to identify the insect's habits and find ways to control it. Studying the pest closely for the past two years, UGA entomologist Wayne Gardner has learned that in addition to soybeans and kudzu, the pest feeds on wisteria, green beans, and other legumes. Like Asian lady beetles, kudzu bugs seek shelter indoors for the winter. They are attracted to light colors, especially white cars and light colored siding on houses and buildings. Removing kudzu is one way to help control the pest around homes, but that's not an easy task, especially if the kudzu is growing on someone else's property. And more bugs may easily migrate in from nearby areas. Having a few hundred uninvited house guests is bothersome, but the bugs aren't harmful and they don't feed on indoor plants. When it comes to kudzu, no one seems to mind if the bugs devour a thousand or so acres. In Athens, Georgia, USDA entomologist Jim Hanula is monitoring the pest's effect on kudzu. The bug caused a 32% reduction in kudzu growth in 2010 in the plots that Hanula monitored. This may sound like reason to celebrate, but kudzu roots can grow as deep as 12 feet and weigh up to 300 pounds. Hanula is hopeful that feeding by the bug year after year will deplete these roots and weaken the kudzu plants. UGA entomologist Philip Roberts has classified the kudzu bug as an economic pest of soybeans. When left untreated in soybean fields, Roberts found the bugs reduced the crop yield by 19 to 20 percent. UGA entomologist David Bunton says the bugs don't eat the soybeans. They use their sucking mouth parts to feed on the plant's main stem. They suck out fluids and nutrients, stressing the entire plant and the plants the bugs feed on produce fewer soybean pods with fewer seeds inside the pods. If the pests fed on soybean pods, UGA researchers doubt Georgia farmers could continue to grow soybeans. For now, they know it reduces farmers' yields and they are searching for ways to help growers control the pest.